it's interesting that you know Umbrella's started up, right? And they have five locations at the moment. One in New Hyde Park, which is the OG, right? Manhasset, Massapequa Park, Belmore, and Lake Grove. Actually, I did a review on a few months back. I'll put the link to the video in the show notes. Check that out, see what I thought about that slice. All right, here we are at Umberto's. Might as well try it out. I got the margarita, got a regular slice to try out. I got a Sicilian square, and I forgot to order the grandma slice, which I'll go back and for. All right, let's try the margarita. That first bite didn't have any sauce in it, but the second bite definitely did. Looks like the oil that they added kind of pulled over there. So I'm going to put a napkin and hold it. It's a good flavor. It's not too overwhelming in terms of over seasoning or the garlic, just, just the right blend. The crust is really nice and airy and uh, it's on the crisp side as they reheated it. I'm gonna say I could really definitely eat this entire thing really quick, but I'm gonna save myself. All right, now for comparison, I'm gonna try the regular slice. Nice cheese pie. It's not really, they use basic um, pizza ovens. Hold up nice, right? This one has a little bit of oil on top. Mm. Actually, I like the sauce on this one. A little bit heavier. Flavors from the cheese. Are um, blending well. Overall, it's a good, it's a good solid pizza. I tried a square. All right, square. Cooked in a pan. Nice Sicilian. Golden brown bottom. Pulpy top with the tomatoes. Right, let's see how it is. Nothing bad about it. Tastes a little buttery from the cooking. Mm. Normally I don't eat that many slices, but I could probably finish all of these. And I'm gonna get some grandma too. And I can see that. A little tight on the crust compared to, let's say, the margarita. Compare those two, right? Came back, got a smaller box with the grandma because it is the home of the grandma pizza. So I was thinking that when I came here, I was gonna see a brick oven, but the brick oven is in the back. And that's what I really wanted, but I didn't plan for it. it takes 45 minutes to make the pizza from there. So I'm gonna have to come back, you know? So that's all right. But since they're known for their grandma slices, my, I ordered a couple just to take and we'll try out. Let's try a corner slice. It's cooked. Okay, right? It's not too overdone. The caramelized cheese is there. Let's compare this to the margarita Sicilian and regular cheese slice. It's hot. I'm gonna get a piece with some of the sauce. I like this one. I like it because it's a little crispy because grandma usually gives it a crisp because they cook it in the pan. The sauce is robust. You can taste the oregano on this one. The other ones you didn't see too much seasoning on. This one you can see it on top. Don't really smell the basil might be blended into the sauce. It's nice thin, right? It's holding up. Definitely can taste some of the saltiness. It's well seasoned. 
This one is more seasoned than I would say the others. One of the things I look for in terms of pizza is the flavor, not only from the toppings and sauce, cheese, but from the actual dough, right? On the carriage. A lot of times there's some places that have their doughs this just tastes like cardboard. And so kind of get disappointed with that. But they've been making these pizzas for a while and um, I think they uh, recipe down. Could it use a little bit more fermentation? I would love that, but that's me. But overall, it's a good slice. I would, I'm gonna give this score a 7.5. I'll give the margarita, you know what, I'm gonna give all these 7.5. So we got the margarita 7.5, cheese slice 7.5, and Sicilian 7.5. So after trying all the four slices, and I want to recap. You know, I did the margarita, I got the cheese, I got the Sicilian, and I got grandma. A place that you would probably be able to come to with the consistency of it. Does it stand out like a Defaro's or maybe John's a Bleecker? Or even other establishments, such as something different like Unregular Pizza. It holds its own as a regular pizza joint, uh, a destination spot possibility. And I definitely suggest you try it out yourselves and see what you think. I definitely have to come back because I didn't get the chance to try the, the brick oven, which, which I really prefer. Check out my review of Umberto's of Lake Grove in the upper right hand corner. And check out my pizza review playlist on the bottom right hand corner. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video.